Hello, and welcome to Biofilm Podcast, a show that brings you to the forefront of biomedical research, biotech, pharma, and healthcare fields, and the professionals behind it. I'm your host, Pavel Rov. Please subscribe and spread the word. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. Let's get started. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you mentioned biofluent and communication. So this is a perfect segue for me to really drill down on your passion for writing and how it transformed you from a scientist all the way to an entrepreneur. So where did this writing passion really start for you? What do you think was a defining moment? You know, I had never thought of myself as a writer at all. Um, But the moment was when uh, it was suggested to me by somebody. Mm -hmm. Um, Her name's Sharon Campbell, and she um, was in marketing at Biorad at the same time I was in marketing at Biorad. Mm -hmm. And I was leaving the company, and she suggested to me that I write. Um, She thought that I was a great communicator, a science communicator, and she thought that my PhD was kind of being wasted in marketing, um, which I appreciate. And, and so she connected me with uh, one of the editors at uh, Gen Magazine, um, and that's how I got my start in writing. And I got my first assignment, uh, which was a roundup for uh, a conference. And so I got to interview people and put that all together. It was a really fun, fun experience because I got to learn, and then I got to teach other people what I learned, um, and then I got to do writing, which for me was actually pretty new to put together an entire piece. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was a fun thing. I always love learning uh, a new skill. So that was definitely the turning point for me. So then you started, you started with that uh, experience. And then how did it really go all the way to where you are now? Like what were the sort of the milestones that you were hitting along the way? So um, I started as a freelance writer. Um, so I was doing the magazines and then afterwards I started getting more clients that were actually in biotech and pharmaceutical, you know, whether it be a diagnostics company or an instrumentation company. Mm -hmm. Um, and so once I started to get more biotech clients, I stopped doing the, uh, magazine writing. Um, and then once I got more popular and successful in, in, in doing the freelancing, I had to start turning away jobs, um, not only because I didn't have time, but because I didn't have the expertise for some of them. And that bothered me, knowing that there was this opportunity that needed to be filled and not being able to do it myself. So that's how the idea for Biofluent Communications came about, is because I wanted to be able to service everyone that needed a good science writer, even if I wasn't the expert in that Mm -hmm. area. So when you were writing these uh, first initial like five or 10 articles, did you have that goal in mind of really taking it all the way to where you are now, or you were just taking it as, as you would go, you know, go along with, with, the, with the jobs? I was definitely just taking it as I went along. Um, I didn't know what was next for me. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to have like a flexible career. Um, I would really like to have a baby. Um, so that's been the number one thing on my mind for the past few years. Um, it's been difficult. So I had been kind of putting off, you know, growing this business, um, but recently just decided to go for it and do everything (laughs) at once. So, um, yeah, so this has been an idea I've had for at least a year. I think most people have the idea for their business for a long time before they actually push the button and go. Yeah, definitely. So uh, when you have started this business, now that you have a few months under your belt as a, as, as a person who runs this, this business, what was the most, the most crazy thing that you had to deal with so far that you weren't prepared to deal with before? Um, you know, trusting other people is difficult. So because now I'm not doing the writing myself, I have to trust other writers to do a good job as good as I would do doing the writing. Um, mm-hmm. And so that was really difficult for me. Um, but, you know, I get writing samples, I have their resume, I see the work that they have before they turn it into the client so I can make suggestions if I need to. Um, and I can always step in and, and do writing myself if I feel like it's needed. Mm-hmm. So that was kind of the most difficult part for me is letting go. 
So as a, I guess as a, as a PhD trained scientist, I think the trust issue when it comes to <laughs> delegating your work to other people is probably the hardest thing there ever is. Yeah, good point. Yeah, because we're always like conditioned to be independently trained, yes. do everything ourselves and just make sure that we do it the, the right way. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So as an entrepreneur, what do you see yourself and this Biofluent Communications? Where do you want to see? What do you want it to take in the next few years? Yeah. I am not 100% sure what I want out of it yet. Uh, I definitely want to, to grow it. Um, and I want to be able, you know, my, my short term goal is to be able to hire one full time kind of like executive um, that will be able to um, kind of like take care of operations. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's that's like the short-term goal. Long-term goal, it would be great to be an international company that could service uh, biotech companies all over the world um, and be able to have enough writers to do that and streamline the process. I think mm -hmm. going back to process development, something that I wanted to say about that was that process is so important. And it's something that I think, you know, it, isn't appreciated as much as it should be. Mm -hmm. um, process can make or break things, um, the companies, um, products, and, and drugs. The process that a, a drug has to be manufactured is, is a life or death situation, um, not just for the company, but for, for humans. Um, something that I think is really exciting to watch right now in the industry is the process development happening with um, cell and gene therapies. I think there's a, a lot of work to be done there and a lot of optimization um, that can lead to efficiencies to make us a lot faster um, with the products and, and, and ultimately cheaper, which is what we want as well. And then obviously safer. <laughs>